On the 13th of February 1960, France conducted its first nuclear test, codenamed Gerboise Bleu or Blue Desert Rat. The Gerboise Bleu explosion was relatively large for a country's first nuclear test, around four times as powerful as the Hiroshima bomb. Amazingly, this nuclear test took place a few miles south of the Mediterranean Sea in northern Africa. At the time, the French authorities explained that the tests were being conducted in an uninhabited and desert area. Officially, France carried out a total of 17 above-ground nuclear tests in the country of Algeria. When these atmospheric tests were banned, France switched to an underground testing facility at another site in Algeria, deep inside this mountain they conducted an unknown number of nuclear tests. The French government has always maintained that its nuclear operations were carried out as safely as possible. Yet a confidential military report first obtained by the French newspaper La Parisienne in 2010 indicated that soldiers had been used as guinea pigs to study the effects of radiation on human health. Michel Verger participated in the nuclear tests and he said, I was wearing shorts. We were made to lie face down on the ground, eyes closed and arms folded, and not watch the flash, but immediately afterwards we had to get up with an apparatus around our necks and measure and photograph the bomb. According to an Algerian scientist, nuclear testing also resulted in environmental degradation, such as the movement of sand dunes in an area already affected by wind erosion. Radiation furthermore led to a decline in livestock and biodiversity, including the disappearance of a number of migratory and endemic reptiles and birds. After a fierce war, Algeria gained its independence from France, but there was a secret clause in their break from French administration. In the Evian Agreement of March 1962, France was permitted to continue its nuclear testing program. The Algerian government granted France permission to continue carrying out nuclear tests at the B2 Namus site until 1986. Although some of the facilities used for the tests are now dismantled and the program has shut down, waste is still present above and below ground. An Algerian spokesperson said, after conducting a range of tests, the two sites at Regan and Eka were handed back to us but without providing any procedures to control or monitor future radioactivity. From the beginning of nuclear tests, France has set up a public policy of saying that they buried all nuclear waste after the test in the sand. But not everything was buried. People still find vitrified sand and contaminated rocks in the area that were left out in the open. And anything that was buried, the locations of these nuclear dumps were never revealed. This dark legacy shocks me. Coming from a country I live in, coming from a country that respects its citizens and the environment, I guess researching history like this in the country I live in exposes me to possible criticism by French authorities. That's why I strongly suggest using 
NordVPN. It blocks your browser history from prying eyes and protects your identity as a citizen asking difficult questions. You can protect yourself today with this generous offer from NordVPN. Use the discount code Professor Simon for a very generous deal. But keep asking questions because the truth is out there. <laughs>